Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be showing you some improvements that can be made to the little Isheen QX90. Now this thing is so popular at the moment and rightly so, but there is room for a lot of improvement and I'm first of all going to start off with the propellers. So this is the stock propeller that comes with it. It's actually the very first incarnation of the Hubson X4 propeller, so the H107, the very first one. I think it was called the H107L. Now there's actually quite a bit of difference between these props and the Hubson H107D props. And you'll notice if you've got one of these QX90s is that the props don't fit very well on the shaft of the motor and that is because this hole here isn't deep enough. But if you buy the Hubson H107D propellers, the shaft goes right into the propeller and this will sit on top of the motor perfectly and that makes such a difference. I'll link in the description where to get these from because that will make a huge difference straight away. However, you will see on my one that I have got the rolling spider props. Now in my initial review I mentioned that you wouldn't be able to add these because they would interfere with each other and the camera. However, there is an unorthodox thing that you can do with them. You will see there that you can actually tilt the motors in these rubber fasteners here. You can tilt them to the side and you can tilt them forward and if you do that they sit at a slight angle but you can see there they miss each other and they also miss the camera and you are going to get a ton of thrust with this. You're also going to get better flight characteristics I found than the Hubson props as well. So it does look a bit unorthodox but I thoroughly recommend doing it for so much more power and smooth control. So another thing that I have done, you can see that I've added a little bit of blue tack. This is actually white tack and that is because these lights at the front here are quite bright and it's fine for flying outside in daylight and indoors as well but if you go out into the street I find that the lights of the flight controller reflect off the motors and you get such bright lights on the camera footage and you can hardly fly at all so I'm going to be doing a lot of night flying outside because it's going dark earlier now and to do that I've had to put this blue tack on here and it works perfect you can fly in the dark and you are not blinded by the lights of the flight controller so the sort of last physical thing that I have done is I have removed these standoffs underneath. Now anyone that has flown one of these and crashed it on tarmac or concrete these things just break off and rip away. So the best thing to do really is just take them off anyway. They're there to protect the battery but really in a crash they break anyway. You're gonna lose some weight off the quad and Less weight means more power, more flight time, so I have removed those as well. And really, the main other thing to get this flying better and smoother is to change the firmware. So I have changed the firmware on this one from clean flight to better flight. And better flight, it is just better than clean flight. You get smoother PIDs and more options. So what I'm going to do now is move over to the computer and show you the changes that I made in order to get better flight version 3 on this flight controller. So here we are in the Better Flight configurator. We're not using Clean Flight anymore. Better Flight has its own app. So first of all, you're going to want to download that from the Chrome store if you haven't done already. I have got the little QX90 plugged into the computer via its USB port, and we can flash the Better Flight firmware in a couple of ways. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the firmware flasher and you can choose the board from here. So for the QX90, you're going to want to select SP Racing F3 Evo. Do not select SP Racing F3, that will brick your controller. If you do that, you can solder the bootloader pads together and that will reset it. However, to avoid that, just select F3 Evo there. Now, what I actually did with this one is version 3 of Better Flight is available, but in the configurator, only 2.91 is available. So what I did was I went to the GitHub website for better flight and downloaded the sp racing f3 evo from that website it's a hex file and then what you can do is load the firmware locally and then flash the firmware what will happen when you press flash firmware is the quadcopter will change to dfu mode and then it will erase the current version of 
better flight or clean flight or whatever, and it will replace it with a new version. Now, something that you do need to do is select the manual board rate to 256. That is important. Otherwise, you'll get an error come up. But once that has flashed, you can then connect to better flight. Now, you might be thinking at this point, should I back up any of the settings on clean flight? And the answer is not really, because better flight has become completely different to clean flight now. So we have completely new settings and I'll talk you through what to do with it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is calibrate the accelerometer when the quadcopter is flat. So I have done that. Then on the ports here, what you're going to want to do is select UART1 and USB VCP. That's probably already selected though. But for the receiver, you're going to want to select Serial RX. Now, I'm using the FreeSky version here. I do believe that a FlySky version will be coming out, but it'll probably be the same setting. So Serial RX, you're going to want to select there and then press Save and Reboot. So on configuration here, Quad X is standard, but can you see here, ESC motor features, we now have a brushed option. That is awesome. So I have got this motor stop here turned on. That means that when I arm the quad, then the props are going to start spinning, which I like. We don't need to worry about this option here. I've got disarm the motors regardless of throttle when arming via the AUX channel. I've got that selected too. I've got my minimum throttle and minimum command at 1000 for air mode. Uh, this can stay at 5 seconds. This needs to be at 2000 to get the maximum throttle. And then the important stuff is down here as well for the receiver. So you're going to want to select RX Serial. So you see there it's for S bus. And then you're going to want to select S bus down here as well. And the rest of it really, you don't really need. In fact, if you select this VBAT info, you do get a flashing light on the flight controller when the voltage gets low. But you can add a buzzer as well. So you know, you can you can keep that information. Now, I don't have a buzzer connected to it at the moment. That's maybe a future improvement. And then down here, I have got the gyro set to 8 kilohertz and the PID loop to 1 kilohertz. Got all sorts of stuff down here selected. Fail safe, telemetry, sort of not using that really. I've got air mode permanently selected and black box and stuff like that. You don't really need to worry about that. Okay, and then the fail safe is just as before. I have got stage two turned off just so it drops out of the sky when my minimum throttle drops below that, which the Tyrannus is set to, set to no pulses. So when it turns off there, the fail safe will kick in. Into PID tuning, and these are my PIDs. You can use them. They aren't completely tuned. However, I'm getting some nice flights out of them. And I've got the angle strength and horizon strength set to 30 there. And I've got my rates all at 80 and the your rate at 80 and the expo at 0.65. And you can drop down here and test out those rates if you like with the transmitter. So for the receiver, if we go in there, I've not got my Tyrannus turned on actually. So I'll just turn it on and you need to set it to T-A-E-R there so you can see everything's working. I've got my auxiliary two set up to arm and the auxiliary one on a three position switch there and that leads me neatly into the modes. So I've got my arming on a switch. I've got angle mode in one position, horizon in a second and acro in third which is quite nice. And that is about it for the modes. One thing that I should mention is that you don't need to do the set PWM motor rate to 32,000 or whatever it is when um, you have the brush selected, which is great because it means when you plug your battery in, the motors aren't going to go crazy, which is something that was a pain with clean flight. So that is all my settings. And this video would not be complete without some flying. So let's go and do that. Thanks for watching. Cheers. And there is fear of the unknown, but we cannot lose control. When we feel like the world is against us. We are trying to find ourselves without the defining words. We can no longer hold on to what only makes us hurt.
Now which way do we go is the question to ask There are so many choices that it's hard not to look past What is real and what is fake and the risk we have to take Will we love what is throwing up our Too far.